Hello, my name is Shayo Bassi, and today we're going to be talking about what to do if your Canada study visa has been denied before. So I get a lot of people like this in my comments, in my DM, asking, oh, can I apply again? What should I do if I've been denied visa before? I'm going to tell you how to handle this issue. So if you have been denied visa before, the tendency is to rush to reapply. But please do not rush to reapply. Do not rush. You need to request your GCMS notes so that you can know exactly why you were, you were denied or you were refused. Now, when you get your refusal email, it usually comes with a letter where the visa officer says something like, I was not satisfied that you would return to your country based on this, this, this. Those are generic refusal letters. For you to know the exact reason why a visa officer denied you or what they were thinking or what their thoughts were, exactly why they refused you, you need to request a GCMS note. Now the GCMS note will state clearly, it will give like one or two paragraphs with a visa officer's note to say, I saw this in the account statement and I wasn't satisfied with it or this person used this and I thought of this. So you would know what they are thinking. The GCMS note takes only 30 days for you to get it. So do not skip this process. Do not skip getting your GCMS note. I know you want to come to Canada. I know you want to rush to reapply, but do not depend on those generic um, refusal emails that you get actually need to request the GCMS note. We do request GCMS notes for, we can request GCMS notes for you because you have to actually be a person in Canada to be able to request, make a request for a GCMS note. Now, after you have gotten your GCMS notes and you have studied um, the visa officer's notes and you now understand why you were refused, you can now reapply. Now, when you're re reapplying, make sure you indicate in a letter of explanation how you have at rest the refusal reasons that you have before. And then you have to quote law cases that are relevant to your own refusal reasons, okay? Quote law cases, go and get law cases that also address the same refusal reasons that you were, you were refused for, and then use it as a basis for your reapplication. You have to be strategic, you have to be intelligent, and you have to be able to overcome the visa or visa objection. Make sure you look at the other parts of your application as well so that they don't come back and refuse you for something different for what you were refused before. Yeah, so that's what I just said. Every component of your application, not just what you were refused for, but you need to also check other things. Like if you were refused for finances, you need to also check that you have home ties, you need to also check that your LOA is still valid and things like that. You need to look at every aspect of your application. Then when you're replying, you have to be truthful about the fact that you have been denied before, okay? Don't hide it if you were denied in the US or the UK or Canada, wherever you were denied, when you're asked, have you been denied visa before? State it clearly, yes. State the date that you were denied. It is not a basis for you to be denied again. If you don't put it there, then you'll be seen as someone who is really dishonest and that can lead to either a refusal or a ban from Canada because you, I mean, you're obviously not an honest person if you hide the fact that you have been refused before, okay? So it's really simple. You don't need to desire. You don't need to lose hope. You don't need to stop, you know, trying to apply to come to Canada just because you've been refused before. There are so many people in Canada here who have been refused before. I have been refused before. So many people have been refused, some three, four times, but eventually because they learned, yeah? And then some of them, when they came to me, I told them about GCMS notes, they got that and they were able to address the reasons why they were refused before with a powerful letter of explanation. So do you need help with moving forward with your Canada study plan? Do you need someone to request a GCMS note for you? Or do you need a letter of explanation that clearly shows that you have addressed the visa officer's refusal reasons for your previous refusal? Then give us a shout out. That's our website there. And that's a WhatsApp number that you can also chat us on. If this video was helpful to you, please like it, subscribe, and make sure you share it. Thank you very much, and I hope this was really valuable to you. I'll see you in the next video. This is Shea Obasi. Take care of yourself, and bye for now.